Hello guys, welcome to this short tutorial video. In this video, we're going to create a very simple WhatsApp spammer program by using Python. This is not going to be harmful at all and it's just a cool program to have fun while learning and improving your skills. Alright, first of all, open up your ID or code editor and create a Python file as well as a text file which I call it the, the text.txt. Uh, this text file is going to contain the text that our program is going to use, so you can write anything you want here. Alright, let's get back to our Python file. First, we need to import two libraries, time and pyo2gi. Time is already installed, but uh, pyo2gi is not. So go ahead to your terminal or cmd and just type in pip install pyo2gi to install it. After installing it, you can import it, which I'll import it as auto, just to prevent writing that long name each time that I want to use it. Now we are going to open our text file. Now we give it the path of our text file, and then we need to specify a mode, which in this case we just need to read it. So we need the R mode, and then we open this file as the, the file. So here we are just simply storing this in a variable named the file. However, the name is optional, you can choose whatever you want. Now we use a for loop to read the file line by line. So we type for line in the file and in here each time that the loop runs, a line of the file variable will get stored in the line variable and then we use pyotgi by the short name that we defined for it earlier, the auto. And then we use the typewrite method which literally simulates typing and the text that we wanted to type will be the content of the line variable. And at the end, we use the press method of PyOTGI to simulate pressing the enter key on the keyboard and send a message. Alright, our program is almost finished. There are just a couple of problems that we need to solve. The first problem is that as soon as we run the program, it starts spamming and we don't want that. We need some time to open WhatsApp and this problem has a simple solution and that is the sleep method and that was why we needed to import the time package. I think 3 seconds is enough. And yeah, another problem is that PyOTGI will stop spamming after a while. That we can fix this problem by changing the value of failsafe to false. And that's it, now let's test our program. But before that, let me just replace the random text with something cooler the Deadpool script. Let's run it and see what happens. There we go, cool huh? So yeah, this is the end of this short tutorial video, don't forget to like and subscribe and I see you in the next video, bye!